hopefully you guys shouldn't have needed that much time for this one because basically it's the process is exactly the same. We replace our y or f of x or just make sure our function is set equal to 0. Does everybody follow me with what I did? Now we see if we can factor out a GCF. Now in the last example, they all shared a common factor of x. Well, in this case, they all share a common factor of x, but we could all say that x to the third power would be the highest power that can divide evenly into each of those terms. Do you guys agree? So instead of factoring out an x, I'm going to factor out an x cubed. Does everybody see that, How what I did? No? Do you see how you don't understand how I wouldn't factor out an x cubed? So think about, think about this. When you're factoring out, ladies and gentlemen, factoring out is like the same thing as division. It's the same thing. When I say factor something out, you're dividing out. So basically, let's look at this. x to the fifth divided by x cubed. Hopefully, in Algebra 1, you guys remember when you're dividing polynomial or dividing monomials, it's the same thing as subtracting the powers, which is x squared. So x cubed divides into x to the fifth x squared times. Or if you want to look at it this way, x to the fifth is 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5. Would you agree with me? x to the fifth, it looks like this. x cubed, it looks like that. And then would you guys agree with me that x divided by x is 1? You're just left with x squared. OK? So just remember when you're dividing, especially when you guys are dividing out uh, monomials uh, with your powers of x, just make sure you subtract the powers. So now I just complete the zero product property here. I get 0 equals x cubed. I can factor, oops, let's just factor this out, x, um, x minus 4 times x minus 3. Then we just know x cubed equals 0, x minus 4 equals 0, and x minus 3 equals 0. Right? Now I just go ahead and um, take the cube root on both sides. So I have x equals 0, x equals 4, and x equals 3. So I have the exact same solution set as my last problem. But in this case, I had to factor out an x cubed instead of an x. But it's kind of interesting.